Don's Academy head of coaching, Mark Robinson. Um, Preston North End, of course, great club, aren't they? They've won the FA Cup twice, yeah. Division One twice. Tom Finney, of course, great club to visit. And um, yeah, fantastic. I mean, I think a lot of people, especially younger fans and younger players, they don't realise what a famous club they are with such a fantastic history. So, and, and when I went up to watch them play Everton, you know that history is everywhere. Even though it's a new stadium, um, you can see that. Very, very proud of their history. Lovely people. Looked after everyone really, really well up there, and you can see there was a real warmth about the place. So, um, yeah, no real famous club. So, you know, I think everyone was talking about Everton, another club rich in history, but you mustn't forget Preston got loads and loads of history. Absolutely, as you've said, you, you went up to see the game against Everton. What did you make of the last time? They went out on penalties, Everton, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was difficult because obviously you go out there to make notes, so, you know, you're making notes on both teams. Um, I'm glad we did that. So, yeah, we're scribbling away on, on, on both sides. And, and to be honest, that they deserved it. First half, they were the better side, created the better chances. Second half was even for about 15, 20 minutes. And then, to be fair, Everton dominated the last 15 minutes, but Preston kept their shape restricted them to sort of half chances more than anything. I, I got to be honest, at that time, I thought, well, maybe they would be tired and extra time would belong to Everton, but they come out against in extra time and they had a new lease of life. And again, extra time, there was nothing in it and, and Preston could have nicked it in extra time and then they went on and won on penalties. So I think when you take everything into consideration of, of the clubs and stuff, they, they thoroughly deserved it. So um, we'll be giving them the re respect they deserve. Absolutely. Looking at ourselves now in terms of how we feel amongst the group. Do you feel there's a more sort of confident air, comfortable feeling amongst the second years in particular because they've been through this before? Yeah, I think they've just grown in confidence anyway um, as, as the season's gone on and they're buying into what we do and um, believing what we do, you know. And so I, ju I just think it's, it's a natural progression. It happens a lot, Rob, every year really. We, we start off a little bit slowly, but that's because we rotate the, the teams all the time so we're never playing the same 11 and it, it's just it's just that education really of the boys understanding their roles and responsibilities and at the same time us giving them the freedom to flourish on the ball so it always takes a little bit of time but no they're certainly feeling very confident at the moment. On that subject of formations we went with kind of a set format in the run last season we yeah. can kind of mix it up this time now can't we? Yeah I mean I'm a strong believer we, we, we always teach the boys four or five different formations and not just for the sake of it I think it's important as part of their education because you know as I said before the first team will use different formations we always try to make it in line with the first team but it's just important that boys understand football because you know you never know where their career is going to take them they could get signed by somewhere else, play completely different formation. So that lack of fear builds confidence. So, you know, if you, if you don't understand something straight away, you go within yourself. So I'm always a strong believer. So we've even last year, we, we, we had four or five formations that we could play, but we stuck with the one throughout the run because the boys felt comfortable in that. This year's been different, to be honest. Um, we've, we started with a three against um, North Greenford because I wanted to be very attacking and no disrespect to them, I wanted to dominate the ball. Went to a four against Bristol Rovers because of their shape and I felt it was the right thing to do. Four against Huddersfield again because I felt it was the right thing to do, although we changed later in the game. And then um, we went to the three against Hull. Um, again, because I had every confidence that the boys were going to be better and I thought it was we needed that attacking flair. So, so we've got that adaptability and, and that's something we'll look again for Preston. Since the last run, it's been a big 12 months of the academy. You've moved obviously down to the training ground. You've, you've come to Southfields Academy as well. How much does that help with the preparation this time around? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. So, for example, the weather's been freezing down here, obviously. So, um, straight away, we could move training to Southfields Academy today. Normally, we're not here till tomorrow, but they let us have the 3G today, which has been fantastic. And Reese has been great as well. He's let me have Paul and Toby back, you know, for as long as I want so even though he's got the game Monday obviously they won't be involved Monday so he's let me have the boys early and also a couple of lads Toyosi and um, Nez come down as well which was fantastic so I mean meant I had the full 22 so that we could do the work that we needed to do and, and that would be the same for tomorrow um, I've got some other le different lads coming tomorrow but no it's great it means we haven't got to you know worry about hiring other pitches or, or stuff like that and can we get booked in somewhere we just come straight down there, so it's fantastic. And how good is it now to feel that the uh, the coach, the supporters coach, is really filling up to get supporters up? Yeah, great news. Uh, really, really pleased. And, um, you know, 
I can't underestimate how, especially at Newcastle last year, how I think that helped the boys definitely, yeah, especially in the closing stages, you know. Um, so to have fans up there again will be, will be brilliant. The boys love it. They, they love it when we've got fans there. So, um, no, really pleased to hear that and really grateful to the fans that are making the journey. Mark, best of luck. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thanks, Rob.